Hey internet, welcome back to part 7 of Inversion of Genesis. I realized when I went away to help out or something, the recording was already 20 minutes plus, so we'll okay. just start a new part in the series. I heard my mom and dad used to make swords, but the factory manager died, and then my dad got sick. <coughs> he kept coughing all the time. Just like me. Then mom started coughing too. But you can't. You promised me. Yup. Oh, we're family now. We're gonna be together forever and ever. This child didn't have a name. Or rather, the balladeer didn't know what to call him. His father died before he could name him. After his mother died, the child stayed in their straw hut alone. Some of the neighbors helped to raise him. After leaving Tatarasuna, the Baladir ran into this child who didn't have a name, just like him. They made a promise to live together. What happened to the child then? He died from his illness while he was still very young. The Baladir came home one day and found that he had stopped breathing. Man, that is so dark. Hey! What's wrong? Say something! You promised me we could be family! You're no different from Niwa and all the others. You betrayed me too. <laughs> oh man, that's some trauma. The voices have gone. It looks like the memory ends here. Let's keep going. Why are there booby traps in this domain? Alright. It's been a long day of recording. You do realize you're blocking my path. I come not to obstruct you. I've been waiting. What you are truly is a weapon, one that could be wielded with an iron will. Or you could continue to drift aimlessly. Are you trying to win me over? A long-fated rebellion has begun. Why not take your place at the banquet and join those who shall feast? Order guide you. Well met. Time for takeoff. This is long overdue. Success denied. No touching. Now we shall perish. Too far. Maybe that was overkill. But they had it coming. Born of ice and frost. I mean, all the things that they did. This place is dark. Uh, Hyman knows this place. It's the Delusion Factory. In the original version of events, the Traveler once encountered the Balladeer here. Such a creepy atmosphere. Well, well, my fair lady. Is this rundown factory and these incompetent fools all for me? Wow. You shouldn't have. Hey. Senora's back. Kind of. Huh. What do you have to gain from belittling your subordinates? You might not want to admit it, but you are a part of this plan. Perhaps you find fighting in the Abyss to be a more meaningful use of your time? Oh, but of course, even this pales in comparison to being experimented on by the Doctor. <laughs> what a sharp tongue you have. Funny how negotiating never seems to be your strong suit. For the task ahead, 
I suggest you keep your true feelings to yourself. Hmm. <laughs> Save your breath. I know what I have to do. I'm sure you think so, but I still think you need to hear it. Don't start thinking you're invincible, and don't let your emotions get in the way. Surely you're not worried about me. I just can't have you getting in my way. You and Child never fail to find ways to complicate things. I'm merely lighting a little fire in this chaotic nation. But you, being tossed out like trash, must make you want to destroy it completely. Wait, is this 400 years ago? So, being a Crimson Witch, I guess you live a long life? Do you remember the last time you were here? That was a lot of swordsmiths you killed. I'm sure the descendants of the ride in Gokaden are still suffering the consequences now. Look at you. Oh, don't get so sentimental. Now, give that poor little tongue of yours a rest and stop pretending like you're above everyone else. No oh, wait, he mentioned child, so it's only recently. Bye then. See you at the victory feast. Poor little tongue. <laughs> She's playing with fire, talking to me like that. Who does she think she is? <sighs> Forget it. Someone might find me here any minute now. I should prepare to give them a warm welcome. That face. <sighs> the plot does not end here. There is more of this story to come. Wanderer, are you able to continue? Yes. Please don't worry about me. Why are you staring at me in silence? <laughs> Can't you think of a nicer way to express yourself? I'm under no obligation to be nice to you. Besides, I thought nothing mattered to you except results in your own interests. Isn't that right, witch? <laughs> Mother-headed puppet. You're only number six because you can take more abuse than other humans. Do you really count that as an asset? You're about as much fun to be around as a raging inferno. But before we murder each other, it'd be best if we finish our duties. Uh, out of my sight! Solidify! Oh no. <sighs> Alright, no more playing around. It's getting late. It's in this. Next on the agenda. <laughs> Here to play with me. Time for takeoff. Blaze over. Look, come on. Focus. That's an issue. Over here. Inazuma shines eternal. I think I missed. Shine no longer. Fun fact. I close my eyes because I get like so eyes from like looking at in Raiden's burst. Like I've seen it once, but uh, is that? Considering that Amorta's sage Nafis refused to join this project, I'll take part in the experiment in his place. Welcome. I look forward to a fruitful collaboration. <sighs> when do we start? You seem impatient. You should know that becoming a god is far from a trivial affair. The biological transformation is a lengthy process. As such, I too would recommend that we commence as soon as possible. In the event that a successful connection is established, his body will become permanently bound to the machine, and he will be unable to move independently of it. Nothing worse than what I've been through before then, Doctor. You were the most resilient test subject I ever came across. Thanks to you, I was able to garner a great deal of information. Alas, after that, you were under orders to remain in the abyss. We barely saw each other, and it became difficult to further refine the knowledge I had gained. That was gracefully worded. 
Ever wonder what they'd think if they knew that nothing matters to you? Apart from your crazy experiments? I suggest you speak to me in a more respectful tone, Scaramouche. The mere fact of your utility does not make you indestructible. The doctor again? <sighs> that was uncomfortable to watch. That person gives off a very sinister energy. Along with a British voice actor. For him to give you the creeps. He scares the bejeebers out of Paimon. <sighs> Let's move on. Oh no. There's no healing. Should have brought a healer. You're a god. Do you think I'm evil? If you accept that he is you, just as you are you, then yes, you are evil. In your eyes, are there any differences between humans and puppets? Do you think there are any differences between your present self and your previous and future incarnations? If not, then what are the differences between humans and puppets? Whoever has tasted the joys and sorrows of life in the human realm is human. Whoever has loved and lost, cried with grief, howled with rage at the tragedy of death that eclipses the miracle of life, they are human too. <sighs> I've seen enough of my past. If possible, I'd like to reclaim the sins that are mine to bear. No matter the consequences, I won't run from blame or punishment. Whatever I am due, let it come to pass. Can you return my memories to me? Huh? But won't that mean you'll lose your current identity? I've always believed that human lives follow a set of rules. With each person being a collection of past experiences. As a puppet living in a human world, my life is subject to the same rules. Regaining your memories means reverting completely to your previous incarnation. All the emotions that you discarded will return to you. Are you sure you want to do this? Why did Celestia give him a anima vision? We know Venti's the animal god, but he doesn't give visions. I've lived with a void in my chest my whole life. My creator didn't need me. And ever since I awoke, I've just drifted from one place to the next. But then I met you. And I finally realized that reclaiming my missing sins might be my one opportunity to become my true self. I've always felt I have an innate tendency to yearn for something more, in a way that goes deeper than for most people. But for all my soul searching as a Shugenja, I've never fully understood it. Looking at it now, it seems that I brought this curse upon myself. So I beg you, grant me this opportunity to gain a purpose, to change my destiny, and end my wandering. Very well. Since your mind is made up, I will return to you that which is yours. You have made your decision. Now, take this. <sighs> Set him free. A puppet? What's he doing here? You're a human as far as I'm concerned. Everyone's here. Wonderful. What a fine blade. Nagamasa will be thrilled. This is my...
lifeless dross will be purged. That's why this won't be the end. Get out of my sight. It disappeared. Did we win? What did you expect? I'd never lose to that. <sighs> There's the tone of voice again. You're definitely back to your old self. Wait, but it was you inside that thing too. What have you got to be smug about? Sorry. I'm harsh on myself and everyone else. Just the way I am. <laughs> you sound like you're concerned about me, but don't worry. Thanks to you, even if I didn't change a thing, at least I now know the truth. The memory recovery seems to have been a success. This dream has served its purpose. Come on, let's continue this outside. Okay, cool. Welcome back, Traveler, Paimon, Balladeer. <sighs> it feels like we just went on a really long journey. <sighs> you don't like being addressed by that name? It's fine. But I was just thinking, I should probably change it. After learning about everything the doctor did, there's no way I can carry on using a name connected to him. I'm not planning on returning to the Fatui. And they wouldn't take me back anyway. Recent events will have affected a lot of people. And they might not even remember who the sixth is. So, you're quitting the Fatui for good? <sighs> it's like you said, Lesser Lord Kusanali. Everything may look futile, but it wasn't completely meaningless. At least I made a lot of people forget about me. But that doesn't mean your own past has disappeared. Of course. 
and your main goal, for which you gave up everything you had. You weren't able to achieve it. I hope you can see and understand that. Changing the world, changing the past, changing the fates of other people? These are not simple things to accomplish. What you are looking for is complete annihilation. But this is just a fantasy. Even if the Balladeer is removed from existence, the world will not heed your will. Indeed. <laughs> How ridiculous. Do you regret doing all that when you've gotten so little in return? Even if I'm completely worthless, there's nothing in the world worth regretting. Lesser Lord Kusanali, you purposely left that information in Nermansol, didn't you? Yes. And I took pains to make sure that you'd acquire that information All right, naturally. let's finish this quiz quick. Why would you go to such lengths? You trying to win me over too? In all honesty, your past experiences have made you a useful asset to Samiru and to me. Winning you over was indeed a part of my plan. But before that, I wanted to tell you the truth about your past. If all I wanted to do was use you, then I'd be no different from the doctor. Damn. Sharp words from a little... Well, technically she's 500 years old, so she's not that little. I was gonna say little tree branch, but it's actually like a... Yeah, never mind. Very clever. I guess you could say that's one of my virtues. Utility to others is what gives me worth. Self-embracing my sins is what it takes to make me useful again. So be it. Oh, right. I almost forgot. You're the good guys. You're into justice and all that. Sorry if I have a slightly different perspective on things, but I don't feel like I've been duped. The wisest leaders are fated to end up with the best helpers. I can live with that. I'm glad you're able to think of it in that way. Traveler, in the future, I'll continue to search Soul more deeply and see what secrets can be uncovered, including the beginning of your twin's journey recorded in Soul. What exactly happened before and after that point? I want to know as well. I will try. Traveler. After I dove into the information torrent in Soul, why did you go to Inazuma? So that's how you found out whose fate had changed. Well... Whatever your reasons, you did me a favor, and I'll do everything I can to pay it back. Borrowing and returning are the only real relationships between individuals. I'll balance the books one day. Don't you worry. That's not true. A relationship between two people is not simply a ledger that can be reset to zero. I think deep down you realize this. People who show up in your life don't just evaporate like water drops and leave nothing behind. There is no such thing as balancing the books. Some things in this world can never be brought back, and they can never be changed, which is why there is emotion in the human world. Mm. All right. Everything Let's that you feel is get real this and done quickly. I can hear my family over the next room you can choose wanting stuff you want to be done. Be human. Hmm. But humans can't hmm. live without a heart, can they? Anyway, I gave up trying to become a human a long time ago. You understand what pain is perfectly well, even without a heart. You're just bearing your feelings. The past is set in stone, but you can keep moving on. And the longer your future lasts, the shorter your past will become, until one day, it is but a tiny fraction of your life. Sounds like you've got a future planned out for me. Everything's ended up being pretty darn complicated. Hyman doesn't even know where to start, but... The most important thing now is that you need to follow Nahida. Otherwise, all our efforts will have been for nothing! I'm still trying to find, like, a good thumbnail. Then I guess I'll be helping you from behind the scenes from now on. Uh, 
Are we gonna name him now? I'm glad that you've accepted our proposal. Why don't you choose a new name to celebrate? Oh, oh, oh! Paima wants to pick an ugly nickname for you, too! Why? Because... Because... Paima still doesn't like you that much! <laughs> then I hope we don't see much of each other in the future. A name is life's first gift. You didn't say it out loud, but I know that's what you're thinking. <sighs> the Traveler and Paimon have helped you a lot. If you can't decide on a new name, Maybe you can ask them for ID. No! Paimon only does nicknames! If it's a serious name you're after, it's all yours. Uh, have you got anything? Got it. Got it. No hate speech. No racism. Cool. Well, in fitting with the lore, I'm going to name you Katsuragi. Two. Second. I, I. In memory of the person who found you. Not contain spaces. Okay. I, I. Well, can I just name you Kosuragi? Are you sure? Yeah. Oh, all right. There. Now you have a name of your own. What about a nickname? Are you... Uh, I... Take your time. I don't need to see you again until you've thought of one. Everyone who manipulated me and made me suffer will have to pay the price. You mean the Fitui? The doctor, at least. Now that your stance has changed, I believe your future path will change accord- hmm. One more thing. There are still some descendants of the Raiden Gokuden living in Inazuma. Some of them know. Well, they ought to know about the connection between Raiden Gokuden and myself. I don't plan to leave Sumeru for the time being. If you see them in Inazuma, please tell them that I was the one responsible for the Raiden Gokuden's downfall. Even though the events have been erased from the world, they still deserve to know the truth. I see. That is up to you. Huh? But if we do that, then... It's fine. Let them stab their blades into my chest if they so desire. Maybe that's how it always should have been. What's that look for? Don't that day will come. All right. We're done here. Goodbye, wise deity. And you too. Uh, that's a spelling mistake. It should be... Double O, right? Well, and you too. Uh, okay. And Paimon, I guess. He's okay. gone! What he went through today would have been like living an entire lifetime in an instant. He'll need some time to calm down. Yeah, true. But even so, after everything that's happened, he doesn't seem quite as fierce anymore. So we can finally go eat? Paimon is starving. Thank you both. I hope you will find somewhere nice to go and relax for a while. Quest complete? That's like a 40 minute video. I've got it! I can end my novel with some words from Mikoshi Nagamasa. You mean because everyone else in the story is... Yeah! I heard that Mikoshi Nagamasa died at a ripe old age. He's the perfect fit to be the narrator of the epilogue. The dark clouds had dissipated, but they continue to cast their shadow in Mikoshi Nagamasa's mind for decades to come. Then, one night, as an old man, he had a dream. On the night when that prized blade, the Daitatara Nagamasa, was forged, the people rejoiced, and there was painting, dancing, and drinking. 
All these expressions of joy melted down in the furnace fire and turned into red clouds that rallied around the final sunrise that Mikoshi Nagamasa saw in his lifetime. Life is a story too long to be told, a journey that you must walk to behold. Ah, found my thumbnail. <laughs> I was wondering what thumbnail I was going to use. Looks like I found it. Okay. Pretty sure. It's almost the end. Surely. I don't want to make another like video just for like a two second thing, so let's end this. <sighs> it's about time we had a break. As soon as you stop, all the tiredness and hunger come. Wow! Huh? Look at the vase. Did someone break it while they were cleaning the room or something? Like, I'm a. You sound lost and confused. Ooh. Who is she? I know why you are troubled. Any who knew of this would find their mind overwhelmed. Huh? Is there someone here talking to us? Unfortunately, the fate of Tevat cannot easily be changed. Perhaps a god may have a slim chance. But for anyone else... <sighs> Who can say? Or is that Greater Lord Ruka Tevada? When a small animal runs into a tree trunk, though the tree may sway, it is not displaced. The same is true of fate. Like a vase that falls to the ground. Whether it is broken by a cat or by a bird, the result is still a broken vase. Is it not? Uh, who are you? How do you know about all this? History does not change easily, but human hearts can. Believe your own eyes. Only that which you see is true. What is unseen is but an illusion. Oh wait, is that Fontaine's Archon? The voices disappeared. And who the heck was that? And what were they doing coming out of nowhere and saying all that scary stuff? Uh, anyway, that face is still lying there, but feels wrong just leaving it there. Okay, interesting. All right. I didn't expect that to happen at the end. So that's cool. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed Inversion of Genesis Quest. Hope you had a great day. Be sure to like, subscribe, share with your friends, ring the bell, turn on all notifications, leave a comment below if you enjoyed the quest. Until next I'll time, this wine see ya. The same as I remember. But where are those who share the memory? And that's a fitting quote to end this video.